Today, I want to talk about how AMC will soon collapse the entire US stock market with trillions of dollars of FTDs being discovered. Now, these FTDs aren't just on AMC, they're across the entire market, and they're being created by European hedge funds. So stay tuned and let's make some money. And now I'll dive straight in with the key information. So, Roger Hamilton tweeted saying these Clearstream reports posted by Wes Christian show 2022 FTDs across Europe at $732 trillion, including all EU trades on US exchanges. Over 10% of all EU trades on US markets and over 58% of entire dollar value was actually a settlement FTD failure basically saying European funds are failing to deliver on 10% of all of their trades, or 58% of their entire trade value. He said Wes believes naked short selling is mostly cross-border to obscure the paper trail, and that's why South Korea set up their naked shorting task force that found 84% of all cases were from overseas funds. He said if the SEC were to set up a short selling task force like their crypto task force, my bet is they'd quickly find the same thing, and such a task force would be 100 times the value to protect retail investors. Now you may say, hang on Tom, rewind, hold up a second, how exactly are these US hedge funds short selling and failing to deliver on US stocks without being caught for it, and just how bad is the damage? Well, this is an investigation performed with Freedom of Information Act requests sent to tons of EU hedge funds and EU regulators about their short selling and FTD transactions. Now, this investigation starts with his conclusion by saying after dozens of Freedom of Information Act requests sent to regulators throughout Europe, the Far East and Canada, this is the question that I have been left asking myself, along with whether I've discovered the greatest financial regulatory scandal in history that is costing US stock market investors, publicly listed companies and the US government trillions of dollars collectively. So he then says, why did I send a Freedom of Information Act request to European regulators? Well, he says GameStop and AMC are two US public companies that are widely held stocks by retail traders worldwide. He says, given the calamity of GameStop's 3 for 1 share issue and the AMC ape dividend, it appeared that at least outside the US, there was anecdotal evidence or tons of evidence of counterfeit shares, given the scale of complaints from shareholders that did not receive their ape dividend, that received it weeks late, or were instead offered a cash replacement for their ape shares. He said he therefore hypothesized that the overseas problem of synthetic short selling could actually be significantly worse than the US problem of synthetic short selling. As a result, he sent tons of Freedom of Information Act requests to EU or European regulators asking for their FTD numbers. He said what he found on the regulatory side was shocking. He said in Europe they do have rules for European hedge funds not being allowed to synthetically short European shares, but they don't have rules for European hedge funds not being allowed to synthetically short US shares. He said there is no similar rule to Regulation SHO, at least for US issued shares or depository receipts that are traded in the European Union. And he said the European Union's short selling regulation actually exempts any restrictions on naked shorting where the principal venue for trading of shares is in a third country outside of the European Union. And if this wasn't shocking enough, there's a separate ruling that actually exempts broker dealers and market makers from having to pay any penalties regarding failing to deliver US securities when using a central securities depository. Now that effectively creates the possibility for forever fails, because these European hedge funds don't get caught or fined for any of their US FTDs. And he said Euroclear Bank, an international CSD with a direct link to the DTC, reported 183 trillion euros of FTDs. But Clearstream Banking SA, which is the German CSD, reported 576 trillion euros in settlement fails. Now, Wes Christian actually has those screenshots and the data that was provided under that Freedom of Information Act request. And it says here, failed to deliver securities. There were 5.2 million settlement fails recorded with a value of $576 trillion. And you may say, okay, Tom, but why do I care about European hedge funds and European market makers failing to deliver on US securities? And that's because a great number of American market makers and broker dealers use separate European legal entities. 
8K, we've got Citadel Securities, Ireland Limited, Goldman Sachs International Bank, Goldman Sachs Bank Europe SE, Morgan Stanley Europe, Susquehanna International Securities Limited, Virtue Financial Ireland Limited, and others. So all of these exact same US market makers like Citadel and Virtue have European entities that effectively conduct that naked short selling. And they get away with it because these European firms aren't required to disclose or get fined for those hundreds of millions, if not billions or trillions of FTDs. And also many of these European regulators also only follow the minimum standard EU model, which is only monitoring FTDs on an aggregated basis of all fails across the entire market instead of on in individual companies. And therefore, many of these European regulators cannot provide any information on FTDs for a specific company. So therefore, these effectively US market makers are free to synthetically short sell US securities like AMC and GameStop and not only not be caught or fined for it, but also those individual FTDs aren't even monitored across Europe. So this is likely how these hedge funds and these market makers have been getting away with synthetically shorting AMC and GameStop for so long, because they're not doing it directly from the US, they're doing it from their European offices instead. But this is also exactly what's going to collapse the entire US stock market when it's all found out and uncovered, as this is trillions of dollars of FTDs. Now Charles Gasparino tweeted saying, here's what I'd say to this. He said there is no evidence of a rigged market which I think is absolutely hilarious because the SEC has been dishing out fines for synthetic short selling, not just recently over the last few months, but pretty much consecutively over the last 10 to 15 years. We're also seeing more and more employees at banks openly admitting to synthetic short selling like that video of the guy from Morgan Stanley who says that he does it each and every day. But there's also this video from Goldman Sachs that pretty much matches exactly what that employee from Morgan Stanley said, word for word. So in 2016, Goldman Sachs was charged with this clever new way of breaking the short selling rules. They have this whole team of people tucked away in a back office. When a client would call to borrow a stock, the team would use computers to automatically locate stocks they had in inventory. This is normal. You always gotta locate a stock before you loan it, because you obviously can't loan something you don't have, right? Well, halfway through the day or so, the inventory could dry up. The system would say, no more shares available, sorry. But Goldman was like, ah, that must be a secret stash somewhere, right? So they'd say, we have reasonable belief there are leftovers we could locate. And they created a program where when you press the F3 button on your keyboard, it overrides the dried up supply. That's it. Just hit F3 and the computer would say automatically located, even if it wasn't true. So you could do this as many times as you wanted, magically creating phantom shares that didn't actually exist. But guess who worked in the building right across the street? The S E C. So Goldman got caught and paid a $15 million settlement, which in normal person dollars is like I don't know, like 23 cents. So we can see that not only is the SEC catching on to this synthetic short selling in 2023 and back in 2016 for Goldman Sachs, but they've always been aware of it. So Charles Gasparino is obviously just trying to distract everyone's attention away from the real crime. And that's why Wall Street Apes tweet is saying nothing has changed. Every day these Wall Street financial institutions, brokers and hedge funds all break the law and counterfeit shares, which floods the market with counterfeits, creating an infinite supply of shares, which destroys share prices. And as we've discovered, this is mostly happening overseas in Europe, where hedge funds are not caught or fined for synthetically shorting US securities. And that's why I said, let me repeat myself, they're doing this every single day and no one will stop them. And before the AMC and GameStop fiasco does end up collapsing the US market, I wanted to give a quick reminder on a gamma squeeze versus a short squeeze and how to tell the difference. Frank tweeted saying, what will an AMC short squeeze look like? He said retail investors will have to hold their positions through upcoming gains if they want to see an AMC short squeeze. He said, but most importantly, they'll have to refrain from selling at the first sight of gains if they're to see bigger and more massive gains. 
He said a gamma squeeze is momentum gains. He said these usually occur from call options closing in the money or in the pocket, resulting in heavy buys or purchases in that market but a short squeeze is vigorous and can spike with no warning. This is where you see 100% gains in a matter of seconds and minutes. He said a short squeeze can even reach 1,000 and 10,000% gains in one singular day. So when you start seeing AMC running to 10, 15, 20, 30 or 40 dollars, that's likely just the gamma squeeze portion. But when you start seeing AMC hitting 100, 500, 1,000 or 2,000 dollars a share, that's obviously the short squeezing portion. With the short squeezing portion, you see significantly larger gains in a significantly less period of time due to a down to being a matter of seconds or even minutes or just hours. But guys, be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as always, guys, be sure to ding that notification bell because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers.